everyone, so today I'll be reviewing my Asufix Nickel Black Edition 3 speed external uh, trifold. So, before I begin, I would like to thank all the Shifus who have helped me with uh, this bicycle. They taught me a lot about how a trifold works and also how to maintain it. So, yeah, thanks for always being there for me. So, what caught my attention uh, to get this bicycle? So, it was the external 3 speed that this bicycle comes with. So being external 3 speed it's uh, lighter than uh, trifolds running on internal hubs. So this is one of the reasons why I got this bicycle. And also another key reason is because most of the parts you see here are one one to one to rom term. So you can you can swap out the parts like the main frame or the fork or the rear triangle to rom term and the dimensions will be uh, the dimensions will, will fit. So if the parts like titanium fork and titanium rear triangle fits from them, it will definitely fit Axial Fix Trifold. So that's one advantage here. Apart from Axial Fix Trifold, I have one bi another bifold at home uh, and also another trifold. So my father, sister, we can cycle together, we can rotate among uh, three of us. So yeah, so previously I was riding a Pikes. So I, ch I got another another bicycle, uh, Axial Fix Trifold, to feel to try the difference and also to allow my sister and my father to join me with us together uh, cycling. Uh. So being a Trifold bicycle, it falls into a uh, compact form better because it falls three times. As compared to Bifold, Bifold it doesn't fold as compact as a trifold does. So that's another reason why I love uh, my Asia Vix trifold. We're moving on to the next part of the review. So come along with me. Moving on to design and specification. So Asia Fix trifold comes in S bar, M bar and mini M bar. So as you can see, um, my setup currently is it's a mini M bar, so it's in the middle of an S bar and also an M bar. So this S bar gives you a more aggressive riding style uh, as compared to M bar, which is more of an upright riding style. So what I wanted wanted to achieve is I want to achieve a, a balanced and better position whereby it's not too aggressive and not too upright. So I, I chose to go with this. So moving on to the colors. So it should fix comes in uh, standard standard colors and also special colors. So the st the, the, the standard colors comes in white, black, purple, uh, yeah, and many other more colors. So like we go Turkish tur Turkish blue and pink, yeah. So the special colors comes in. Uh, nickel color as you can see over here and also the raw lacquer color where you can see the go weld go weldings so i'd like to elaborate on the aggressive riding style and the upright riding style so upright riding style gives a more comfortable ride as compared to an aggressive riding style which gives you a more aerodynamic uh, position so it really depends on the personal rider similar to other trifles the issue fix uh, mainframe fork and the rear triangle is made of chromoly steel so chromoly steel is strong and it's also uh, you can take a lot of stresses very well in terms of when you go over like bumps or uh, rough terrain but one thing to take note about steel is that uh, steel is uh, steel will rust so you have to take care of it so after maybe if you run under the rain you must make sure that you, you dry, you keep you keep it dry afterwards and also you lubricate the internal tube with, uh, with either grease or silicone spray. Uh, for me, uh, Cycler Clinic has already had me uh, sprayed on silicone inside the mainframe tube and also the hinges because the hinges and the mainframe are prone to prone to trap water so they are prone to rust. So especially so for this nickel colorway, because nickel this nickel this colorway is uh, nickel plated, so it's um, 
I would say it needs more care as compared to the standard colors. So yeah, so it's so for nickel colors one, you must make sure that you spray the hin the hinges well and lubricate the hinges well and also the, the tube inside. Seal fix comes in uh, external speed, external three speed. So you can have a hear of the sound, you can hear the sound. Personally I find uh, external, exter I prefer external speed over internal hubs uh, that other trifold runs. Yeah, because external uh, hub, ex external speed uh, has lesser drag as compared to internal hubs. That's what I feel when riding. But of course, uh, internal hubs require less maintenance when compared to external hub. But overall, I would, I would choose an external hub. 3 speed over an internal hub, which gives also 3 speed as well. So when riding uh, and riding long, long distances, when I'm cruising, right, uh, when I'm not pedaling, I find that the speed is more well sustained in terms of an external hub. Yeah. But yeah, so, but you must clean and make sure it's clean well because um, it's exposed as compared to internal hub which is enclosed. But overall, I, 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 like, I like the external speed. Because this bicycle is uh, external speed, uh, the weight is uh, much lighter than bicycles running on internal hubs. So this bicycle weighs 9.8 kg, yeah, plus minus which is considerably, considerably light as compared to the other trifold that I have which is tight. Some unique points about a trifold that differs from a bifold is that trifold comes with a suspension block. So the suspension block acts as a, a suspension and it absorbs uh, impact when you go over uh, humps or bumps. So uh, it also acts as a latch. So as you can see over here, so it clicks into place. So it allows the bicycle to fold and also it uh, catches when it folds. So it's like a locking, locking mechanism plus a suspension block. So the stock suspension block from the ACO fix isn't as strong as, uh, as what I thought it was as compared to Brompton stock suspension block. Because like the suspension block here are uh, similar to Pikes it's uh, softer so after a few rides for my weight which is 85 ki ki kilograms kgs uh, it compresses so i had to change to this suspension over here which i bought from shopee which cost uh, 15 dollars which is uh, stronger in my opinion i feel yeah i prefer harder suspension because the softer the suspension it tends to absorb a lot of the, the speed yeah, the force. So it doesn't go as fast as I feel. So that, that's my personal opinion. Next for the Ethiopic Trifold, the tensioner also differs from standard, uh, differs from all those uh, derailleur systems that comes in uh, other bifolds. Like other bifolds, they are using Shimano, but this, they are using um, two separate systems, which is the pusher and the tensioner. The pusher changes the external speed while the tensioner uh, allows creates the tension to allow to prevent the chain from dropping when folding and changing speeds. So as you can see, the tension prevents the chain from dropping when it's been folded. So uh, Exopix comes in 16 inch wheels com uh, compared to other bifolds in the market which is 20 inch. So uh, when I first changed over to 16 inch trifolds like pikes, my, my pikes and also Extra fix. I find a little bit reduced in speed because of the smaller wheel set. So a smaller wheel set gives a smaller uh, circumference. So you lose out uh, in terms of speed, but a uh, bit. Given the 16 inch wheels, it allows the bicycle to fold into a more compact form factor compared to bike folds, which has a bigger wheel. So when you fold already, you still be quite uh, quite quite big compared to a trifold. Now I'll be talking about the folding process. So the folding process, step one, you have to hold on to the hinge here and you have to hold on to the, the catch here and you swing the wheel. That's step one. Make sure that the second step is you make sure that the pedal is over here and doesn't block this. 
from folding and catching from here, catching to here. So the next step is to un uh, unclamp the hinge, the mainframe hinge, and you lift up and make sure that this hook catches onto the stay here. Then you release the hinge, the handlebar, the handlebar hinge, the, the, stem, the stem hinge, and you let it drop. And make sure that it catches here. So this is the first folding method, the method number one, which allows you, which allows you to push. So I also have an extender here, so I, I bring out the extender to create a more stable pushing experience. So this is the first step. Uh, so this is the first way of pushing, which is using the saddle. The thing about pushing like that is you must make sure that um, you have a velcro strap tied onto here, the wheels. Yeah, you must tie on the wheel to the mainframe. Because if you don't do that, the bicycle will open up when you carry up. So that's why. I usually don't push in this way. So I'll show you another folding method. Usually I don't push like that. I push with my handlebar up and my seat goes down. So with the, with the seat goes down, it blocks. It blocks the... It prevents the bicycle from opening up when you lift up. Because there's a... There's a block, blocking mechanism here, so the bicycle will open up when you lift up. So this is how I usually push when with the bike folded. So as you can see, if you lift up, maybe you are yeah you need to lift up over an obstacle on the floor, so you it won't open up. As compared to the other way, I find that the convenience of it is and the storage of it is excellent because. In, in terms of convenience, I can cycle from point A to B and to C. Maybe from Serangoon to Stadium and to Kalang and to MBS. I can cycle back. I can choose not to cycle back for MBS when I'm tired or maybe when it started to rain. Storage is amazing as well because you can fold a bicycle into a very compact form factor and you can, it only takes up a small footprint. As compared to uh, a traditional bifold which takes up more space. So a bifold wouldn't be able to even fit in this stuff, uh, small footprint, put two trifles into the car boot, and the bifold, you cannot fit two bifolds in the car boot. Yeah, so this has a smaller compact form folding factor as compared to a bifold. The comfort and riding experience wise, I find trifles um, gives me a very, uh, gives me a more comfortable riding experience as compared to a road bike. Or a mountain bike because trifles it's not as uh, aggressive as a road bike where you have to bend almost like uh, 90 degrees when cycling so for me i have a i have a, I have a back pain i have back pain because of uh, my previous sport that i played so i find this bicycle very comfortable and it doesn't give me any back aches or any back pains so for carrying cargo this bicycle give, gives me a lot of options to choose from First, you can have a bag, which uh, can be then you buy, buy a Velcro strap or a, a, a type of strap uh, yeah, to strap the bag around this this rack. So you can carry maybe uh, you can carry maybe like a, you can also carry a foldable chair from Decathlon. So you can maybe go camping by the sea or you can go, you can chill by the sea. I mean, yeah. Also, this bicycle has the option. To allow you to latch your back onto the front block, so you can get a click. So the bags comes in many different options. You, you can it comes in small, medium, big, yeah. So it allows you to play with many different bags and designs, and also uh, it's customizable. If you know how to customize your own bag, so you can you can buy your favorite type of bag, which um, which you want to customize and you just make sure that it doesn't exceed 5 kg for the front or 5 kg for the back for modification and accessories uh, is your fix
has a lot of things you can mod. So to start off, the most basic one, uh, the rack, you can mod the rack, like the other trifles, you can mod the, uh, you can like other standard trifles, you can mod the racks, the extender, the easy wheels, the pedals, the cranks, the derailleur system, the, the jockey wheels and pusher and everything. And the front block, almost everything is mod can be modified. So that's why people always say that this bicycle is very poisonous because one, my, my friends will always influence me to get the next uh, bling bling or better part. So yeah, part. So to make the bicycle even more, uh, even better and even more unique. But yeah, so for me, I choose to keep, keep it as stock as possible because uh, I don't have, my pockets are not so deep. So maybe next time. So talking about next time, this bicycle gives a lot of options because you can not only mod these accessories but you also can mod the main frame itself because of this bicycle being one to one to one inch to one in terms of the dimension to a brom term so there are many aftermarket um, parts out there which allows you to mod uh, that fits well to brom term so that it will definitely fit an axial fix as well so you can mod into a titanium triangle a titanium mainframe, titanium fox, titanium handlebars, titan uh, handlebars, titanium stem. So everything um, can fit well because of it being one is to one to a Brompton. So let's say so this bicycle is very suitable for people who has already tried a 360 a pike and want to move on into a more poisonous bike, which gives you more options to play with. So conclusion, I find that this bicycle is. Super, it's, it fits most of my needs. It's very convenient, like most trifles out there in the market. And it's also very, very light. So, uh, I don't have much more things that I want from a tripod. It already meets all my needs. So, three speeds uh, to me, three speeds to me is already sufficient because most of Singapore's uh, terrain is flat. So, we don't usually need to climb hills like maybe Bukit Timah Hill or Mount Faber or the beauty world, the hills over there so I find this trifle is already uh, say, it's almost perfect already and also the 16 inch wheels the 16 inch wheels um, it could be 4 inches smaller than a 20 inch wheel or maybe a many more inches smaller than a road bike wheel but I, I, I don't find I don't find uh, super slow as compared to the road bikes or the bottom bikes in fact at the end of the day i feel that it's still uh, our own leg power for me my legs uh, are still not as strong as the riders out there because i've seen many people who has how to say it, who has uh oh yeah i've seen many people especially um, bifolds or trifolds they outbeat the road by uh, the road cyclists so I'm not very surprised because at the end of the day, it's also so your own your own leg, your own leg strength, yeah. So if so, if you are considering to getting a trifle, I would say you can start uh, with us. You can start with other trifles like three sixty pipes, yeah, or even this. So this trifle is recommended for people who wants to modify or has already bought. Um, a Pikes or 360 or so you want to move on to the next level or it's also suitable for people who want a Brompton experience uh, in terms of dimensions and running experience but do not want to wait as long yeah because you have to do an appointment at Brompton Junction before you can get a Brompton bicycle so overall I find that it's your fix is uh, it is, it's very good already. I will give it a 4.5 out of 5. So why 4.5 out of 5? Because um, I feel that there are still some improvements that need to be, to be done. Because for this special color, nickel, it, uh, it, tends to, it tends to have some rust in the, internal, in, in the hinges and in the internal tubes. Yeah. So, but still rust. So, uh, so I find it's still acceptable. So, but if you want to have a lesser rust or, or the least rust, you can get the solid colors and not this nickel plated color. Yeah. 
So that's why I give this bicycle a 4.5 out of 5 because the nickel finishing on this bicycle isn't uh, as good as the Brompton's nickel finishing. But so far, I have I have never seen any complaints uh, regarding the the standard colors for Asia Fix because yeah. So the other Asia Fix colors, there are almost no rust at all at the hinges. Yeah and yeah. So overall, this this bicycle is a is a pass. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.